friends, it's Miss Piggy. Welcome to our art series called Hanging Out, where we hang out and hang up our artwork. Friends, I'm excited to reveal our project of the day, which is called Reflection of Care. This project will be all about reminding ourselves to take care of ourselves and to love ourselves. So before we get started, let's go over some of our values. So the first one is respect yourself, respect your art, and respect your space. All right, friends, let's get started. Let's find out what we need today. So friends, the first thing we are going to be needing are index cards. Or cardstock, or blank paper, or cereal boxes like we've used in the past. Whatever you have on hand. Then we'll be needing some tape for later. Scissors, Sharpie or a pen, some watercolor, a cup of water, just kidding, and a mirror. And don't worry, friends, if you don't have like a mirror that can come off the wall or whatnot. You can also use like a mirror in your bathroom or your room. Um, and I'll explain that more in detail later. Which brings me to the technique of the day that we'll be exploring, which is watercolors over Sharpie or pen. Okay, you ready? <laughs> so friends, Think about a mirror that you may have. Whether it's in your bathroom or in your room or maybe in your living room. I got this mirror actually from the 99 cent store. Some of you might remember this mirror because I used to bring it during our series called What We Bring to the Table. So um, you can always find these mirrors at the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree. So I'm using this mirror as our canvas. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside because we're gonna bring that in later. But in the meantime, we're gonna use our index cards. Maybe you have some thick paper at home, that's fine. Whatever you have on hand. So I'm gonna take out like, I don't know, maybe like eight, who knows. And what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna think about some questions and take time to answer them. So, the first question is, what do you do to take care of yourself? Hmm. I wonder what you do for yourself to take care of yourself. Our answers may be different, some of us might have the same answers. So I'll go ahead and start by sharing some of the things that I do to take care of myself. One being, what I try to do is actually eat mac and cheese. That's part of what I do to take care of myself because when I eat mac and cheese, it makes me joyful, it makes me happy, and it just fills my heart. And I feel like that's my way of how I take care of myself. Maybe you enjoy eating certain things that bring you joy or comfort. So that's one way I take care of myself. Another way I take care of myself is I like to look at plants. Yeah. Just seeing nature helps me care for myself. It reminds me to breathe because I can smell the plants or even seeing the plants. I have a plant behind me, it's, it's actually fake, but I even use this plant to take care of myself because when I see it, I remember to take, just take deep breaths. Yeah, so that's one way to take care of myself. Um, another question, are you ready friends, is what are some symbols or maybe objects that remind you to take care of yourself or love yourself? So certain objects 
besides cheese for me would be pictures of pigs. I think when I see pigs, it reminds me of myself and my two pigs that some of you have may met. They're not really pigs, but they're my kids. <laughs> But when I see the images of pigs, it reminds me of family. And family, spending time with my family is the way that I take care of myself, actually. Um, and also another thing, another question, one more question is, what are some words or maybe phrases that lift you up? So when I say words or phrases, maybe things that encourage you. What makes you feel happy? What are some things that maybe you can tell yourself to lift you up when you're feeling down or maybe discouraged. What encourages you? So some words for me would be laugh. Like the word laugh. When I hear the word laugh, that's the way that I can take care of myself and remember to love myself because when I laugh, I feel like I'm myself. All right, friends, so let's get started to the art part. Thank you for taking the time to reflect with me. I feel like it's such an important time. So, what we're gonna do today is begin with our Sharpie or pen. And what we're doing is, we're just creating on each card symbols or artwork or words that remind us to care for ourselves, okay? So I'm gonna start with the first thing that I kinda of talked about, which is mac and cheese. So I'm just gonna start by drawing mac and cheese. So this is gonna be a type of outline artwork. And then we're gonna fill it in with watercolor after. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna just start by drawing my mac and cheese. Friends, if you know me, you know I love mac and cheese. I can eat it all day, every day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. Remember, I love to draw eyes and smiley faces and silly faces on my So, there's my pasta. And I'm just going to draw some cheese. What do you look like? Curious. Some other things that make me feel happy sometimes ice cream.
thing that helps me take care of myself are hugs. I love hugs. Another way I take care of myself is do my best to actually go outside, whether it's like taking a walk or walking to my car. <laughs> so just seeing the sun or the clouds helps me take care of myself. I also like to like open my windows when I wake up in the morning just to see the sunshine. To let the light in. So energize. Another way to take care of myself is by sleeping. Get lots of rest, friends, when you can. Don't stay up too late. So, something that reminds me to get rest is like the moon. Who likes lucky charms? I love lucky charms. <laughs> Actually, cereal is one way to cure my Alright, here's my nice sky. So friends, when you take a look at your symbols or your objects or your words, take some time to see if you want to add any details, refine your lines. Maybe you want thicker outlines. Maybe you want to add more shapes or patterns. So feel free to take your time to do that. And right now, I'm really liking where this is at the moment, so I'm ready to add my layer of watercolors. So, this you can also get at the dollar store, they have watercolors. If you don't have watercolor, maybe you have crayons or markers, and you can use that too. So from here, it's up to you how you want to paint in your cards or your pieces of paper. So. I'm just gonna have a free flow idea with it. Start by filling in, not necessarily in any precise way. Like, I don't mind if I go outside the lines a little bit. I'm gonna gently dab. And I want you to notice. What happens when you add the watercolor? You should notice that your Sharpie is not bleeding, meaning it's not spreading. So it's still set while you add your watercolor over it. The less water you use, friends, on your watercolor, the more dense your painting will be. So it's up to you how dense you want it. If you want a lighter type of style, then you would just add more water to your paint and right over it. Feel free to mix the clothes for different ways of adding color and texture. Let's see what colors come to mind when you see these words or 
object or symbol. It doesn't have to be exact or literal. What if you wanted purple leaves? So it's just whatever comes to your mind. Objects in your words 
around your mirror. So when you look at it, you have a frame of things that can remind you to take care of yourself. You can tape your tape. You can do it with your tape trick, the double-sided tape trick. If you don't have double-sided tape, just take your strip, take one end, fold that in the middle, take the other end, and fold that in the middle, and it creates a double-sided double-sided tape. So from there, you can just stick it right onto the border of your mirror. All the way around in any manner or positioning that you care for. Okay, friends. I hope you all enjoy your art making. Thank you for taking the time to create art with me. Take care. Literally, take care, friends. Thank <laughs> you.